Hi. I'm going to uh, demonstrate the Robert Graff gouger. Take some tube cane and split it. And then I'm going to. No, this cane is dry right now, and I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to find the probably the straightest part. And uh, I'm going to uh, use the guillotine and uh, take the piece I just trimmed. And it goes into the pre-gouger. This this pre-gouger is a pretty cool one because it um, you can fit it into the grooves here, and then use a plane, and then you can you know pre-gouge it really nice. Now it's best to do it when it's um, when it's wet. So we'll do that later. But at least you can see, once I put it in there, you just basically go like that. Um, so anyway, I have a uh, pre-gouged piece. And um, actually I actually have one already in here. And the Robert Graff gouger is a fantastic gouger because it's just so well constructed and lasts for a very, very, very long time. And the whole idea is when you gouge the cane, you want to make sure that it's consistent each time. So, so I do have a gauge. I actually have one that's thousands of an inch instead of a mil instead of a metric one. So twenty four thousandths um, equals about 0.60. Um, metric. So anyway, now I'm going to take a piece of pre-gouged cane and um, I'm going to show you how I do it. Stick it in the, the bed here. Fits really nice. And then basically you put pressure when on the cutting stroke and then each time you see the shavings come out and with this particular gouger I need to flip when it when I find it's not cutting anymore sometimes I might find something on the blade so I might want to just brush it off and then as you can see when I flip it it starts to cut again. And I'll do that until it becomes less resistant. And again, I always work with wet cane. I don't use dry cane. I don't know if other people do, but my experience is that I use wet cane. As you can see, I flipped it and I'm getting more shavings again and when it seems like it's not cutting anymore I'll flip it again so here I am flipping and I'm getting a little bit again I'm getting some more shavings as because I'm flipping it um, seems to help and what happens when the cane is um, at the right thickness, the uh, knuckle buster, I guess you could call it, has less resistance. I'm still getting shavings right now. And I flipped it, I flipped it a couple of times already. I'll flip it again. And we'll try it again and see what happens. And I'm still we're getting and oops just at that point 
it seems like I'm not getting any more resistance. So therefore, I'll flip it one more time and see what happens. Perfect. So there we have a nicely gouged piece of cane. And uh, take my meter and I'm gonna stick it in there. And uh, it, it, as you can see, it's about 24 thousandths. It's very nice.